better uh, business if you specialize in in any of these disciplines or multi-disciplines for example i'll just say recruitment and people it's a discipline ability yes capabilities yes now insurance business if you want to be good in the insurance business you must be great at the power of recruitment and people if you're in an mln business you're an m way right you got to be so good at recruitment and people and if you're you master that you will be successful in your business or um, goal setting for example right goal setting could be a person like uh, um, michael jordan right who has who has fix a specific goal he wants in life and he does everything in being able to attain this one goal. Or a person who is great at financial analysis like Warren Buffett who specializes in this and able to look at trends and data and know exactly what businesses, what he should buy or, or attain. Or someone who is in time management, who is who mastered this part of life, who is able to do much more in one year than ordinary people can do in 10 years. You just look at people like Mark Zuckerberg, for example, right, or Jeff Bezos. They are able to achieve things way beyond the ordinary folks because they just master one aspect of life is to manage their time properly, okay? They don't have time to change the color of their shirt. Just think about that, okay? Steve Jobs, one color shirt, right? And resource management, right? Marketing, for example, innovation, right? If you're talking about uh, um, Elon Musk, one aspect of this, and he's already so successful. And all of those are people who know how to generate cash flow. Now, all this is only possible because it revolves around one area called self-mastery. So this is the aspect of your business, your career and profession is only an extension of you. It, you, a lot of people join a career and saying, I want this career to make me successful. Or people join a, a company hoping that the boss will make them successful, hoping that their manager will bring them happiness, hoping that they will not be in a toxic environment. You know, you have to bring success to your job. You got to bring success to the marriage. You got to bring happiness to the marriage, not wait for the marriage to give you that. If you cannot understand this, it is usually a problem with your mind palace. A perception needs to change. Because you're thinking that your wife or your husband is responsible for your happiness. You're thinking your manager and your boss is supposed to give you the success in your career. You know, I'm, I'm entitled to it. You have a sickness called princess sickness. Dong Ji Bang. Yeah? Uh, you're the princess. Everything you have people do for you. And this is a big problem, okay? Y if you don't have that change. So the self-mastery begins with that. Remember, business is a spiritual game. You think, huh? Business is spiritual? Yeah. Isn't spiritual taking whatever is in the invisible internally and expressing it out into the world, making it visible? It's about creating value, correct? Value from nothing to something. Now, uh, let's just say the day that you are looking at right now, let's say it's just Yi Wood, okay? So I just say this is Yi Wood, okay? And uh, in your branch right now, uh, you have the animal sign of ox. Okay, you have ox. So inside ox, you have yin earth. Now this is because I can memorize it, right? You have yin water and sin metal. Okay, this G, this is quay, and this is sin. All right. Anyway, this is just an example because I'm giving you an extra topic here. So suppose I am I am looking at these four pillars right now and I, I just want to isolate the day, it's easy to see. So let's just say now in a luck pillar, this is luck pillar, the luck pillar of, let's say it is uh, dog, okay? This is dog. So inside dog, you have yang earth, okay? So you have Yang Earth and you have Sin Metal and you have Ting Fire. Okay, this is Sin, this is Wu, this is Ding. Okay. So now you know this luck pillar and the ox is in a relationship known as punishment. Alright. So in this case here, you have dog and ox punishment. So which means this anger, there's going to be some form of blame happening. Okay? Some form of blame happening. 
Now, we now want to know what could be the cause of this, right? What could be the cause, my main cause of feeling, um, feeling this anger, okay? Main cause of feeling this anger. So, what is the main energy that is now hidden inside this chart? So, I need to find out now, of course. Um, because now you see, the moment you don't have software, everybody is like, oh shit. So, that's called traditional training here, okay? So, Wu Earth is direct wealth. So, the main cause is direct wealth. Direct wealth represents values. Okay, so in this case here, what happens is that you're feeling that there is a violation of your personal values that is causing you to feel that the circumstances are against you. It triggers the feelings of anger and desire to take action. So you feel that the, the problem is your values, right? My values are compromised. My beliefs are compromised. It has been violated. Because that's what direct wealth is, okay? That's what direct wealth is. So all these stars are pre-written, but your job is to interpret them and see how they fluctuate and change in terms of your, your, your cycle, okay? So why is it that certain people cannot manifest reality? It's because on the soul level, they're empty. On the spirit level, it, they're misguided. So no manifesting will come. Even they come for a while, even if you use the, the mundane physical level to manifest, you use all your achievement, perfect timing, use cleansing, all that. You cleanse today, three days later, go back to normal. What happened? Because the soul level, it's not fixed. The soul level and the mind level is, is broken. So you can't recover from that. It's like an, a person in etern eternal grief. I mean, grief is bad, right? I mean, grief, you grieve and, and you experience that, that one week, two weeks of darkness. It's like you can't, you eat and there's no taste. But if you stay there, you're going to drown. So you need to get out of it. How do you actually get out of it? That's when you find your soul once again, okay? That's why the healing part is, is in that. So this is a different part of parts. It's not just looking at good luck from a, from a, from a person's chart, okay?